Blake's from Smyrna wrote me concerned about rising gas prices and urging my support for the Keystone Pipeline project, which he claims would expand access to oil on our borders and reduce oil prices. Uh, Blake, I appreciate your writing me, uh, and I'm going to tell you bluntly something I think many politicians won't, which is there's relatively little we can do in the short term that will have a significant impact on rising gas prices at the pump. We do need to pursue, in my view, an all-of-the-above energy strategy, and we do need to work harder to achieve energy independence for the United States, to reduce how much oil we import from outside the United States, and to use all the resources we've got available. That having been said, the Keystone Pipeline would take several years to build and to make fully operational, and the current plans are for the vast majority of the oil that would be transported through the pipeline to then be exported outside the United States. I voted in March for an amendment to the transportation bill that would have allowed the Keystone Pipeline to be built, but required U.S. steel, U.S. workers, and keeping that oil once refined in the United States. That was not a successful amendment, and neither was an amendment to accelerate its, its construction where the oil would be exported outside the United States. As Congress continues to wrangle over exactly what is the best policy going forward, I hope you'll keep in mind that lots of different folks have proposed lots of different things whether it's trying to go after speculators more aggressively, trying to develop more natural gas and oil resources in the United States. But I think relatively little is going to be done that will impact gas prices in the short term. We need a comprehensive energy strategy for the United States. As a member of the Energy Committee, I've supported legislation to require that and to require that our government take advantage of all the opportunities we have to promote energy independence for the United States. Thanks for contacting me.